What's up guys, my name is Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to make your audio sound as good as possible in OBS and Streamlabs. Alright, first go over to your microphone and click the gear icon and go to filters. The order of your filters does matter, so make sure you do them in this order. Our first filter is going to be a VST plugin called Reaper, which you can find in the description, which has a noise suppressor that is a million times better than the built-in one. You may have to restart OBS after installing, but our next step is going to be clicking the plus icon and add a new filter, selecting VST from the drop down menu and name it whatever you want. I named mine Fan because I use it to remove fan noise from the background of my audio. Then click Done. Now click the drop down menu, select Reefer Standalone, then click Open Plugin Interface. Change the mode to Subtract and click Automatically Build Noise Profile. Make sure you are totally quiet so it just picks up the ambient noise and leave it ticked for about 5 to 10 seconds and then untick it. One quick note, if you aren't using the latest versions of either OBS or Streamlabs, you'll have to redo this every time you restart the program. This seems to have been fixed in the latest versions, but just keep that in mind. Cool, once you do that, you can X out of this window. Next is a noise gate. What a noise gate does is prevent your mic from picking up sounds below a set volume, which is your closed threshold and your open threshold tells your mic to pick up sounds over a set volume. I have my settings at negative 50 and negative 45, and you typically want to keep these within 5 decibels of each other. To figure out what works for you, just look at the meter under your microphone and start typing, clicking, gaming, whatever, and adjust your thresholds so they just barely stop picking up your usual background noise. Attack, hold, and release times I leave default. Next is Compressor, which basically takes your loud sounds and compresses them down so they're closer in volume to your loud sounds. I just leave this at the default settings. Next is our Gain, which amplifies your audio. I have mine set to 25. To find what works for you, just talk how you normally would and watch the meter under your mic. Keep increasing your gain until you're about a quarter of the way into the red. And lastly, we have Limiter, which prevents your audio from going above a certain volume. I set it to minus 5 because 0 or minus 1 is where you start to get peaking and your audio will get distorted and sound terrible. So I set it to minus 5 to give me a little wiggle room. That's it guys, here's a quick comparison before and after the filters. Here's what I sound like before the filters. And here's what I sound like after the filters. As you can hear, they make a pretty big difference. You may have to experiment to get them perfect for you, but it is definitely worth taking the time to do so. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and consider subscribing, it really helps the channel. My name is Joe, and I will see you in the next one.